So let's add some global styles. They're going to include a CSS reset, variables, some utilities and focus styles. Because it would take us hours to write CSS on our own, we're going to be copy pasting most of it, but I'm going to go through some of it so you're not left alone. So we can create a new global CSS file in source if you go here and if we create a new file, uh, sorry if you don't see the context menu, it's because of the recording, but you just create a new file and if we type styles followed by a slash, this is going to create a new folder and then we can say global CSS and it's going to create the CSS. And after that, we can just copy the styles, right? So we can copy it over and let's briefly go over it. So here we're just importing uh, the interfont from Google Fonts, nothing special about that. We're doing a simple reset. And here is the more interesting part, which is what I love doing for every project. You can define your CSS variables here. We just have colors, uh, the font sizing, spacing, our shadow that we're using, and even the radius. So yeah, if we go further down, there's nothing special. We have a grid. I slightly took some artistic liberty and modernized the to-do MVC styles because they're a bit outdated and not so user accessible. So there's some slight things I did there. And then we can see I just inherited the styles for label input buttons where you would have to repeat the styles for each one. And then it's just a button. Then we have a utility class of hidden we're going to be using later. And here we're setting things up for focus styling it a bit. So we have a red outline that's a box shadow when we focus elements. So yeah, that's it for styles. And then when you have these styles, you can open the index.html in your project. And when we here, right, let's update the title name so you can say Swell to do. And yeah, so you have a couple of methods to include global styles in Svelte. So we can include it here inside the link tag, but the downside of that is that that won't work with hot module reloading. So meaning whenever we make a change, uh, the change is going to be reflected immediately on the page, which is awesome. And why I love uh, working in JavaScript in these frameworks. But if we include it here, we won't get it update because uh, whatever Vite is doing under the hood, it just won't know to update the file. So the alternative for that is to include the global styles itself in the script tag. So we can say script and let's just say language TypeScript. But of course, if you're not using TypeScript, you can just ignore this part. And then let's say import and see the autocomplete is already working here and say root. And if you press control space bar, we can uh, continue the autocomplete. So you can say styles and I'm curious, is it going to show global CSS? Yeah, it never does. So you can just say global CSS and of course it's there. And then when we save, it should update. So you should have your server running, if you remember, if you run npm run dev or pnpm if you're using that. So we can save it. And then if we go here, we can see it updated. And that's awesome. It works as expected.